Artificial intelligence is getting better and better, and it never stops surprising us. That's why on today's video, I will show you 10 artificial intelligence tools that will change the way you look at the technology. So let's get into it. We all know QR codes, but do you know there's a way to customize them with artificial intelligence? QR Craft is an AI tool that can create QR codes, but not just any QR code, but rather visually beautiful ones. It can be used for mobile or computer. To generate your own custom QR code, click on here. Then you need to describe the image you want to show in the QR. For this one, we will go with the default one. Then below we put the URL we want the QR to go to when it's scanned. For example, I'm going to put my YouTube channel. Then you just click on generate and look, it generates a very original QR in seconds. The truth is that they are very unique and have their own personality. Moving on, Reimagine Home is an interior designer with help of artificial intelligence. You can upload any photo of a house, an office, or the space that you want, and you can let this artificial intelligence surprise you, or you can customize it to your liking by choosing the colors that you like and the style. For example, I am going to put some wooden walls. As you can see, it will give you many ideas to decorate your space. The negative part is that you can download the image for free, but with a watermark. And if you want it without a watermark, you will have to pay. But well, even if it is not perfect, it will really be useful to obtain ideas. And for that, it would not be necessary for you to download the image. This next tool that I'm going to talk about is possibly the first tool capable of standing up chat GPT, and it even surpasses many aspects. I am talking about Cloud2, and unlike chat GPT4, it is a free tool. These are some of the advantages that Cloud2 has with comparison to chat GPT that have caught my attention. For example, you can upload different types of documents like an Excel, a PDF, a TXT file, and you can do it directly from the Cloud2 website. It is also capable of reading more words than ChatGPT. Specifically, it is capable of reading 75,000 words compared to ChatGPT that does not even reach 3,000 words, which means that Cloud is capable of reading and understanding 25 times more text than ChatGPT. It is also a much better programmer than ChatGPT, at least according to the score they have obtained in the Human Evolution Test, in which ChatGPT got a score of 67%, and Cloud2 a 71%. And finally, the cloud data has up-to-date information, and is so up-to-date that it is from 2023 compared to GPT Chat, which is only updated until 2021. These are just some of the advantages it has, but for now, this artificial intelligence is only available in the United States and in the United Kingdom. If we get into ClipDrop, we will find three very cool artificial intelligence tools. The first, it's Stable Diffusion XL. We can generate images in seconds and with very good quality. We also have the Uncrop function, which you can use to expand the image as much as you want. Just upload the image you want to expand, and after clicking here, we just wait for the result. You can also toggle between different backgrounds with another function called Relate. Some of the things you can do, it's adjust the lighting of the image. Create a light source that you can move it around at any position you want. You can also change the color, the brightness, and you can add more lights. And this allows you to have much more control on the image in a simple way. They also offer the function called Stable Doodle, with which you can transfer sketches and drawings to images. Look at this example. is a sketch of an owl. I can choose between a 3D photographic style or a pixel art, and basically works like this. You draw whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to build a house with a tree behind. Then add on this text box the kind of style you want for your art. In my case, I want a pixel art style. The tool will generate these four images of which we can choose the one we want and then download it for free. Reface is a very fun AI tool that can change your face with any other character. For example, if we upload a short video and we want to change in this case the face, is as easy as you upload it and write on chat box what you want in this case, I'm going to change the face to Harry Potter. It's quite funny, but a bit strange. And the truth is, well, it still doesn't have the best quality, but it's fun. This tool has a free layer that can be a bit short, to be honest. Now, let's go with Ostrogram. What it does is merge two images into a single image, giving it a very original style. All you have to do is upload the image you want, and then you choose the style that you want create by using one of the default styles. For example, I will use this image, then click on Generate. And well, if you are in the free account, it will take a few minutes, but once done, you will have a very curious result. In this case, I choose the spaghetti texture. Leonardo AI is another artificial intelligence that you should try. 
It also generates images with text like Midjourney does. For example, with Leonardo AI, you have a free layer that works with credits. You have about 150 credits a day to generate the images you want, and although it does not reach the level of Midjourney, it is close to it, and it is also a very good option to use because you also have an easier learning curve to use. On the left side, you have Bar, with a more visual way for all the settings that you could use to generate the image. It often happens that when you download an image, either Leonardo AI or Midjourney many times, it lacks quality, especially if you are going to use it, for example, for a wallpaper or if you want to print it. You can use Opus Clip to create short content from long videos. It's free, and all you have to do is drag a video from your computer or just paste a link from any YouTube video, and you'll be done in a matter of seconds. After a few moments, you would have 10 clips with subtitles that you could use to upload to TikTok, Reels, or Shorts. Also, when you create a short video, you will notice a score next to it that indicates the virality potential of each video, according to Opus. As a result, the higher the score, the more likely it is that the footage will become viral, and the lower the score, the less likely it will go viral. The truth is that it is an excellent time-saving tool, and while it works with any sort of video, it shines the most with podcasts. Picolabs helps you to create videos from text or photos, and it is maybe the best tool for doing so. It gives you video quality that has not been seen before. Just look at this. Yes, yes, it's not perfect, but the quality has increased significantly from two months ago. But wait, check out this other movie. The editing, soundtrack, and plain blur are all very exceptional. It is currently free and works like Midjourney that incorporates Discord. To begin using it, go to any of the channels that say Produce. Once you are on any of them, go to the search bar and type what you want to accomplish. And this is the result after a couple of seconds. With Suno, you can sing songs and it's quite fun to use. It works through Discord and it's completely free. You write your lyrics or just ask ChatGPT to write one for you. For example, I will use this text and in a matter of seconds it creates a song. But you won't be able to choose the style of the song. You simply give it the lyrics and it creates it for you. And the songs are limited to 30 seconds of audio. When you have your lyrics ready, just paste it into this chat box and wait a few seconds for the result. Let me show you mine. I set the stage, ready to broadcast to the digital age. YouTube here I come with my vision. Runway Gen 2 have an incredible text to video maker that it's way better than Pika Labs. Just look at this short video. To use Runway, you click where it says Gen 2 and here you write the video you want to make or you can upload an image and generate a video from it. The only thing is that Runaway 2 works with credits and at the beginning that a second is equivalent to 5 credits and as soon as those credits are spent, you will have to pay to continue using. It's obviously that none of these tools is perfect, it still has many bugs, but if they are already capable of doing this, imagine in a year of what they will be able to do.